Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are, at any time you are, okay, uh, peace be upon you, okay. Uh, this is our, you know, fifth lecture, fifth session, uh, our fifth meeting, uh, and today's meeting will be about, you know, the fourth part of American literature uh, that is called uh, naturalism. So, uh, uh, again, repeating myself, you know, we are, we are going to divide, you know, American literature into uh, six parts, six periods, six movements, starting with the uh, earliest one, uh, that was the colonialism or the colonial uh, period, and then we uh, next discussed, you know, romanticism, and then uh, realism, and today we discuss naturalism. Naturalism is as a movement, you know, uh, can be understood in two ways, or, you know, it has two uh, understandings, as a philosophical, you know, understanding or interpretation, and, you know, as a, a literary interpretation, uh, interpretation or explanation or understanding related to literature. As uh, a philosophical uh, int uh, movement, you know, uh, it's يعني, simply speaking, you know, uh, it refers to the viewpoint that, you know, laws of nature, okay, operate the universe and that, you know, nothing exists beyond the natural universe, okay? That our universe is uh, governed, is ruled, is run by the, by uh, nature and is operate, you know, in nature that, you know, nature is the only thing or power that operates, that runs our universe, and there is no other powers that go beyond uh, this uh, law, law, the law of nature, our laws of nature. El, uh, el nat natural assert, you know, the natural laws are rules, you know, that govern the structure of uh, and behavior of na natural, of the natural universe, that the universe is a product of these laws, okay? This is also here important. Uh, they say that natural universe, that the universe is a product of the laws of nature, the laws of nature. That is philosophically speaking, okay? But uh, what we are concerned about is the literary interpretation. Uh, so as, an, as a, a literary movement, you know, it was, you know, a movement taking place from the 1880s to 1940s, uh, and, you know, detailed realism, uh, it, it used, you know, detailed realism to suggest that social conditions, heredity, okay, what is, you know, inherited, yani, and environment had uh, inescapable force in ch uh, shaping human character. Uh, this movement, you know, I mean, depicted, you know, pictured, uh, it was depicted of one or pictured as, uh, or known as, you know, a literary movement that seeks to replicate, to repeat, you know, a, a, a believable everyday reality as opposed to such movements as uh, romanticism. Uh, uh, naturalism is also considered to be the outgrowth, okay, of literary realism. Yani sort of uh, an offspring or, you know, uh, that, you know, comes out of realism, okay, with, of course, uh, some differences. Uh, realism, a prominent literary movement in the mid-19th century in France, that is realism. Naturalistic writers, okay, were influenced, this is also important about naturalistic writers, they were influenced by uh, Charles Darwin, you know, uh, a very well-known name, in science and, you know, uh, who's, you know, famous of his theory of evolution. Okay, so naturalistic writers were very much, you know, influenced, affected by, you know, the, this theory of, I mean, the theory of uh, Charles Darwin. They, you know, the writers uh, of naturalism, you know, uh, believed that one's heredity, okay, and what you inherit, one's heredity and social environment largely determine one's character. 
this is يعني this could be يعني a major theme or uh, a description of this movement and it's يعني let's say uh, general objective okay the uh, writers of naturalism or naturalistic writers believe that one's heredity okay one's you know what 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 someone or what people you know inherit from their fathers and forefathers you know and from previous generations and the social environment where people live uh, what surrounds people environmentally largely determines decides one's character yeah, your character or the person's character any person person's character is determined is decided by the environment the social environment and what he or she inherits from his uh, ancestors okay and uh, this is a, a general introduction about you know naturalism as a movement and it's you know uh, two different uh, or not different let's say uh, two uh, understandings or interpretations as you know a philosophical movement and as a literary movement and then we come to uh, our you know topic and what we are concerned about naturalism in American literature and particularly in fiction uh, novels and short stories American literary uh, sorry American literary naturalism is a literary movement that became popular in late 19th century okay uh, in America uh, uh, late in late uh, 19th century in America and is often associated with literary uh, realism the term naturalism was initially coined by, founded by, you know, it was established by Emily Zola, who was a French uh, writer and a French uh, uh, philosopher and, you know, a very famous figure. Uh, and he's a, 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 a very clear representative of naturalism. Okay. In the late 19th century, the literary movement became popular all over Europe from England to Russia. So it started by Emily uh, Zola in France and then moved from uh, France to England to Russia and to all Europe. American writers were particularly influenced by the British, of course, as uh, early settlers and, you know, uh, colonized by uh, Britain. So the uh, American writers were influenced by, you know, the British and the French models and began to adapt the form to reflect American social, economic, and cultural conditions. So they were first influenced by American, sorry, by British and French, uh, French uh, writers. Then they, by the time they started to adapt their own, you know, uh, correct uh, their own style of character uh, sorry of naturalism uh, to have their own you know form that reflects you know uh, their their own the American their own social economic and cultural conditions uh, viewed as uh, a combination of realism uh, and uh, romanticism uh, critics uh, contend you know they uh, assure they confirm that Americans, sorry, that uh, the American form of naturalism is heavily influenced by the concept of determinism. Determinism is another movement, the theory that heredity and environment influence determine human behavior. This is the determinism. Okay? Okay? That, you know, uh, they, they believe that, you know, uh, man uh, goes uh, according to uh, his or her fate, okay, uh, governed by, okay, controlled by his or her fate, okay. So, uh, that, you know, theory that heredity and environment, okay, what, you know, pe what people, what a person inherits and his or her environment influence and determine his or her or the human's behavior. This is determinism.
Okay, although naturalism is often associated with realism, which also seeks to accurately represent the human existence, the two movements are differentiated by the fact that naturalism is uh, that naturalism is connected to the doctrine of biological, economic, and social determinism. In their short fiction, Lua in naturalism, uh, or naturalistic writers. Uh, naturalist writers strive to depict, they fight, they work hard to depict, to picture, okay, to show okay, life accurately through an exploration of the causal factors that have shaped the character's life as well as uh, a deterministic approach to the character's thoughts and actions. Therefore, this is important, Therefore, the, instead of, uh, of a free will, a naturalist depicts a character's nation, uh, sorry, actions as determined by environmental forces. Okay? Uh, so the naturalistic writers, our naturalistic writers, you know, I think that, you know, uh, a person or a human being is, doesn't have a free will. No, he, uh, his will is what? Uh, uh, is determined by, you know, uh, uh, environmental uh, forces. So a naturalist depicts the char a character's actions. Our actions are, you know, what determined by environment or environment uh, environmental forces. That's why they are called a naturalist. Uh, next page. Uh, and again, uh, some, some pages will be sort of a repetition, uh, so just to know more about the same idea about, you know, the definition and the themes and the characteristics of naturalism. American literary naturalism came to the uh, front, uh, to, to, sorry, to the forefront of popular literature during a time of uh, tremendous cultural and economic upheaval, you know, revolution in the United States. In the late 19th century, you know, United States witnessed, you know, uh, a revolution, uh, an industrialization, sorry, an industry, I mean, in uh, urbanizing, you know, uh, uh, industry, uh, the, re the revolution was, you know, uh, in terms of, you know, industrialization, urbanization, mechanization, uh, and also the influx, the floods, the, the immigration of, Okay, of people from all over the world. Okay, that uh, uh, all of this, you know, resulted in extreme changes in the United States or in, in the American landscape, the general uh, view uh, of the country. The short fiction of American literary naturalism depicts important here. Okay, this is important. The short fiction of American literary naturalism depicts shows, pictures, what? The experiences of impoverished, poor, okay? And uneducated people living in uh, scholar and struggling to survive in a harsh, indifferent world, okay? This is what is usually depicted, pictured, or shown in uh, American uh, fiction by, you know, the naturalist uh, or naturalistic writers, okay, usually in their, they show, it depicts, you know, the experiences of impoverished and uneducated people living in, okay, scholar and struggling, these characters struggling to survive in harsh, difficult, okay, indifferent world. Major thematic, again, this is also important, major thematic concerns of the form include the fight for survival. This is also a major theme in, uh, in naturalistic writing, in naturalistic uh, works, uh, which is what? The, uh, the fight for survival. Okay, the fight for survival because they consider people living in, in harsh conditions, okay, in an indifferent world in an indifferent world, in a difficult يعني, word to live in. Uh, man, well, that, that uh, 
يعني ذات يو نو كفرز وات انكلودز وات يو نو كونفليكتس بين مان اجينست نيتشر مان اجينست سوسايتي ذات اولسو انكلودز فايولنس ذا كونسيكونسز اوف سكس اند سكس از ا كوموديتي از ا كوموديتي يعني از 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 جودز يو نو الكوموديتي از يو نو سمثينج يو باي اند سيل something that you sell and buy زي بضاعة أو سلعة the waste of individual potential because of the conditioning forces of life and man's struggle with his animalistic base instincts برضو this is also part of the thematic concerns of the naturalistic writers اللي هو also اللي هو man's Uh, st uh, st struggle against his animalistic, okay, against his base instinct, okay, مقاومة والصراع بين الإنسان وبين الإنسان نفسه و و و يعني رغباته الفطرية الحيوانية اللي موجودة فيه. Okay, as a result, the short stories of this, okay, literary movement are often regarded as depressing. نعم. When you know uh, stories, you know talk about all of you know uh, these things in this negative, uh, pessimistic you know uh, uh, attitude. So you expect you know the works to be depressing, okay? يعني راح تقرأ أو تقرأي أكيد أعمال محبطة مثبطة لأن راح تكون كلها تكلم عن يعني صعوبات في الحياة و. صراع مع الانسان داخل نفسه وغريزته الحيوانيه مع الطبيعه اوكي سو يو اكسبكت تو ريد ديبريسنج تايب يعني تايبس اوف ستوريز بيكوز سلايس اوف لايف دوكيومنتيشنز اوف ساد انفولفيلد لايفز ا هاندفول اوف سيجنيفيكانت امريكان اوثرز ذس از فيري امبورتانت از يو نو examples of uh, good examples or good representatives of uh, this movement such as Stephen, Stephen, sorry, uh, Stephen Crane, uh, Theodore Dreiser and Frank Norris utilized the form, the form of uh, naturalism which noticeably declined in popularity by the early 20th uh, century okay, but then again it uh, built, يعني started to build up Uh, popularity. Mixed, okay, naturalism in American literature again, as a, here defining the same uh, movement here as said before, but again, this is another definition in different ways, uh, sort of an extension to what is said before. Uh, the term naturalism describes what is it? If you want to define, to describe. Uh, what is uh, naturalism? Uh, okay? uh, 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 the term naturalism describes a type of literature that attempts to apply scientific principles of objectivity and detachment to its study of human beings. Okay? Principles of objectivity. Okay? apply scientific principles of objectivity and detachment to its study of human beings okay and based on facts okay study of human beings based on facts okay uh, unlike not on you know emotions and sentimentals and you know uh, feelings unlike realism naturalism is different there, there are you know some you know similarities and there are of course differences and this is something you need to remember because you know some of the topic questions will be you know uh, about you know discussing uh, differences uh, between our similarities either differences or similarities between uh, two different movements so you expect such a question in the topic uh, in the topic you know uh, uh, sorry in the uh, discussion for topics okay as you know part of the assignments that you uh, usually have in every course and every semester as part of the participation of the 10 points participation so here uh, unlike realism okay opposite realism naturalistic huh 
sorry, هنا, unlike uh, realism, realism focuses on re, uh, literary technique, uh, huh? like naturalism, what? Naturalism implies a philosophical position for naturalistic writers, since human beings are, as you know, in Emily Zola's phrase, she will human beasts. You consider uh, man or human being as, you know, a human beings as a human uh, beasts, as you know, said by, you know, this famous phrase by Emily Zola, okay? Uh, yeah, beasts means animals here. Characters can be studied uh, through their, in the point of view of uh, the natur naturalistic writers, characters can be studied through their relationships to the surroundings, to the يعني, nature, to the environment that surrounds the human being. Other influences, يعني other influences other than Emily Zola on American naturalists include Herbert Spencer and Joseph Le Conte. Okay, one of other these are all important, you know, uh, names. You know, so as you know, uh, Emily Zola as one of the major, you know, uh, 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 as a major writer that you know American. Uh, uh, naturalistic writers influenced by, they were also Americans or uh, naturalistic writers, uh, American naturalistic writers were also influenced by other, you know, uh, naturalists or writers like Herbert Spencer and uh, Joseph Le Conte. So this is also يعني, some more uh, on the definition and description of uh, naturalism. Uh, next Again, continuation. Naturalistic writers okay, believed okay, that the laws behind the forces that govern human lives might be studied and understood. Naturalistic writers thus okay, what used a version of the scientific method, a type of scientific method, to write their novels. They studied the human beings governed by their instincts and passions as well as the ways in which the characters' lives okay, were governed by forces of heredity, what's inherited, and the environment. Although they, naturalistic writers, although they use the techniques, this is here important, although they use the techniques of accumulating details uh, pioneered by okay, the realists, Hona, this is the important part, the naturalists, Thus, huh, had a specific object in mind when they chose the segment of reality that they uh, wished to convey. Okay? No, sorry, uh, this part is not really that important. No, I'm sorry. Although, from, uh, from, uh, from although to the end of the paragraph, this is yeah, just, uh, just to note, but it's not an important piece uh, or part of this uh, slide. Okay, next is a very short uh, slide we have here, uh, but this is important, you know, this is important. Uh, it talks about, in George Becker's famous and much annotated and contested phrase, okay, a phrase, you know, contested phrase, you know, phrase that causes, you know, a conflict or uh, dispute between people, questionable phrase. Naturalism Philosophical framework can be simply described as, huh, in, from the point of view of George Beckers. He describes naturalism huh, in what? Being pessimistic, materialistic, determinism. Okay? This is also important. The way it is, you know, described with this phrase by Beckers, being pessimistic, يعني تشاؤمية. Okay? And materialistic. Talking about, you know, you know, physical things and real things. What you can see. Like determinism. Okay? They're talking about, you know, uh, people are just يعني, controlled by, you know, uh, their fates and what they inherit from uh, other people or their ancestors. So, uh, in George Baker's point of view, naturalism is 
is uh, described as pessimistic materialistic determinism. Uh, next is uh, again uh, the, the naturalistic novel usually contains two tensions, okay, uh, two conflicts or two parts of a conflict, two uh, or contradictions, two oppositions. These are two in conjunction comprise both an interpretation of experience and particular uh, aesthet uh, sorry aesthetic or aesthetic sorry uh, uh, refer refers to beauty uh, aesthetic uh, beautiful reaction of experience in other words the two constitute they form they make the two constitute the theme and form of the naturalistic novel these two contradictions or these two lower tensions First, the first tension, the first contradiction is that between the subject matter of the naturalistic novel and the concept of man which emerges, starts, comes out of, emerges from this subject matter. The naturalist populates, he yani, chooses his people, his, uh, of, uh, people of the novel, his novel primarily from which type of people, which type of characters, from which class, from the lower middle class or the lower class, yani for, repre uh, representing poor people of lower middle or lower class, social classes. His fictional word is that of the uh, commonplace and unheroic in which life would seem to be chiefly the dull round of daily existence as we ourselves usually conceive, see, understand, okay, uh, of our lives. But the naturalist discovers in this world those qualities of man usually associated with the heroic or adventurous, such as acts of violence and passion which involve sexual adventure or bodily strength and which, you know, culminate, you know, culminate comes to its peak, to the top, okay, uh, in desperate moments and violent death. It comes to the peak, to the, to which culminate, then causes or ends up with death. A naturalistic novel is thus an uh, extension of the, re of realism. So a naturalistic novel is an extension of realism only in the sense, uh, this is important, only in the sense that both modes, both types, and both kinds, often deal with the local and contemporary. Okay? This is important, as you know, showing uh, uh, similarities. A naturalistic novel is thus an extension of realism only in the sense of, okay, that what? Both these realism and uh, naturalistic novels, our stories, they do what? Uh, often deal with the local and contemporary. They deal with the local place, with the local location, and with the contemporary uh, time, not you know, the past. The naturalist, however, discovers in this material the extraordinary and excessive in human nature. Uh, that is the first tension, the first contradiction. Number two, second tension involves the theme, okay, involves the theme of the naturalistic novel, which is what? The naturalist often describes his characters as though they are conditioned and controlled by environment, heredity, instinct, or chance, okay, this is important. Second tension also gives the, the, the uh, sort of uh, theme concern of the naturalistic writers. So the naturalistic novel, uh, sorry, naturalistic naturalist uh, often describes his characters as what? As though they are conditioned, controlled, okay, uh, by their environment, heredity, instinct, الغريزة, or chance, الحظ, الصدفة. But he also suggests, who a naturalist, who a naturalistic writer, he also suggests a common 
sorry, a, a compensating humanistic value in his characters or their fates, which affirms, assures, confirms the significance of the individual and of his life. The tension here, number two, is that between the naturalist desire to represent in fiction the new discomforting truths which he has found in the ideas and life of his late 19th century world, and also his desire to find some meaning in experience which reasserts, assures the validity of the human enterprise, the humanity uh, establishment. Next is here important uh, points about, you know, specifically characteristics of uh, naturalism and naturalistic uh, writing. First of all, let me talk about the characters, the characters of the, uh, of the novels or short stories in, uh, in naturalism or in naturalistic writing. Frequently, but not this, the characters of this movement or of these writers in naturalism, they are what? Frequently, but not invariably, sorry, invariably ill-educated or lower class. Not invariably ill-educated or lower class characters whose lives are governed by the forces of heredity, instinct, and passion. يعني هون طبعا they are not but okay so they are people I mean characters of يعني who are who represent or who are frequently ill educated يعني not well educated okay they you know uh, lack education they are of lower uh, lower social classes uh, who lives and governed by the forces of their heredity okay they live on what they inherit from, you know, uh, other people. Uh, and they live on instinct, okay, and passion. Uh, well, feelings, or uh, senti sentimental. Their attempts, okay, at exercising free will or choice are uh, hamstrung by forces beyond their control. Their attempts, the characters, the characters of uh, the novels, of naturalistic writers, of the naturalists, huh, are what? Their attempts, the characters' attempts, their attempts at experiencing free will, okay? Free things to do. Free will, يعني الإرادة, الحرة, okay? Or choice, Ex uh, exercising free will or choice are hamstrung, okay, are hamstrung by forces, yeah, and hamstrung man uh, blocked, stopped, handicapped, or hindered, okay, by forces beyond their control, okay, by forces, by powers, by, you know, things that they can't do anything about, so they just, you know, uh, submit. Next, second, the second characteristic was sitting. Setting of uh, the novels or short stories of the naturalistic uh, writers uh, is what frequently an urban setting, okay? Usually it talks about urban area, urban areas, okay? Kill, el, uh, talk about, you know, and in, uh, cities and, you know, uh, middle of towns or, you know, where, you know, places where, which are usually, you know, crowded with people, you know, well inhibited, as in Norris McTeague, okay, as an example, okay? When we talk about sitting here, we mean uh, by sitting what? The time and the place of the story, okay? Yani where and when the actions of a story take place. And of course, sitting also includes, you know, a, a geographical location, uh, of the actions, it, it includes also, you know, the uh, the outlooking of the characters, you know, the way they speak, the way they 
uh, dress and you know the way or the manner of speech you know that all you know uh, comes under sitting so uh, sitting in, in, natural, in naturalism frequently an urban setting okay then the last techniques and plots okay the plots of the of the stories okay and what makes the stories the arrangement of events and the style the the, the, the technique how you know uh, the actions are you know arranged and what technique is used to put these actions together or the plot or the actions that you know make the plot here we have Walcott says you know one of the writers you know uh, of uh, one of the naturalists says that naturalistic novel offers a clinical uh, panoramic slice of life okay, okay. Uh, this is also true and it's a slice of life the the novel of naturalistic writers gives a, a large how you know uh, let's say a general view panoramic general view okay okay a, a wide you know a large picture of uh, the society it's also a slice of life because it depicts real life uh, as is okay a drama that is often uh, uh, a chronicle of uh, despair okay uh, novels also they uh, are sort of a chronicle of despair you know they are sort of you know uh, uh, any like you know historical books that you know uh, put you know the events I mean the despair of people yani, uh, as you know uh, yani part of making the history okay chronicle of despair okay just to say yani, um, the chronicle he means you know to write history so chronicle of despair so the these novels you know as you know uh, and putting the despair of these people in the history bec bec uh, through these novels the novel degeneration the novel sorry the novel of degeneration Zola's Le, uh, Le Asmore and uh, Norris sorry Norris's Van Dover and the brute for example is also common type okay uh, these are you know examples the novel of the generation uh, we have you know Zola Le Assommoir and Norris Van Dover and the brute these are examples is uh, this is uh, see also a common type of you know uh, the type of technique and the plot of the naturalistic uh, novels next is also important we have the themes of these writers okay uh, uh, the themes of these writers what they uh, meant to write about we have a work uh, Walcott identifies survival determinism violence and taboo as key themes okay these are the themes by yani, uh, in the opinion of Walcott okay uh, survival determinism violence and taboo uh, to lower the brute within the brute within yani, uh, it means that you know every person every human being has something brutal inside himself okay yani something animalistic that you know uh, makes him you know uh, let's say work do things uh, uh, according to his instinct okay so a brute within okay uh, each individual composed of a strong and often warring emotions fighting emotions that's inside each person has uh, fighting uh, conflicting okay warring emotions passions such as lust okay including lust greed or the desire of dominate or, or for dominance or pleasure okay that is true yani, in every human being okay these are things you know we are born with 
okay everybody is born with yani these you know qualities and the fight for survival in an amoral okay in not amoral yani amoral in not amoral uh, in different uh, universe this yani uh, survival in this amoral who are not moral and in different universe the universe is considered to be indifferent not caring about you know uh, human beings the conflict in naturalistic novels is often okay هذا مر من قبل the conflict in naturalistic novels is often you know what you know man against man man against himself uh, as characters struggle to retain to keep veneer of civilization to keep the covering the thin covering okay thin sheet okay of civilization that يعني, we يعني, uh, to cover you know what's inside uh, despite external pressures that threaten uh, to release the brute within three nature as an indifferent force acting on the lives of human beings يعني, consider nature as being indifferent not caring about people it goes always against the human beings the romantic vision of uh, as an example the romantic vision of Wordsworth that nature never did betray the heart that in loved her here becomes Stephenson Crane's view in the open boat this power this uh, tower was a giant standing with its back to the plight of the ants it represented in a degree okay uh, to uh, the correspondent the serenity sorry serenity of nature amid of struggles of the individual nature in the wind and nature in the vision of men she did not seem cruel to nature cruel to them okay, uh, to him then nor beneficent nor a treacherous nor wise but she was indifferent flatly indifferent that's all about nature nature is indifferent to the human beings okay for the forces of heredity and environment as they affect and afflict individual lives individual lives okay the forces of heredity and environment okay اللي هو ايش قلنا اللي هو القوى اللي تمثل الموروثات والصفات الموروثه والانفيرومنت اوف ذا هيومن بينجز ذي افكت اند ذي افليكت بوث ذي انفلونس اند ذي اولسو سام تايمز هيرت ذي كوز بينز فور ذا انديفيدوال لايفز فايف اللي هو ان انديفرنت ديتيرمينستيك يونيفيرس اوكي this is also another theme to about you know in different and deterministic universe okay just yani things are all you know decided uh, for you okay for us naturalistic texts often describe the few uh, futile attempts of a human beings to exercise a free will often ironically presented in this universe that reveals free will as an illusion okay and there is no free will okay we are dealing with an indifferent deterministic universe so uh, the universe that reveals free will as an illusion it's just not something uh, it's not true it's an illusion it's uh, uh, imagination illusion Waham. being in free will the last important two uh, slides here we have just list of names of famous uh, representatives of uh, naturalism uh, here we talk about you know uh, the most important this I mean these two lists were uh, much longer but I you know summarized them and just you know uh, listed the most important ones okay and then we maybe later uh, I'll talk more I mean I'll just uh, let's say uh, name or you know tell you about the most important ones you know to be remembered for the final exam okay later on when we meet inshallah in our first uh, live session here we have Theodore Dreiser 
etc. You can read this uh, by yourselves. And then we have the last slide and the, uh, the next list of, you know, uh, famous uh, major representatives of uh, uh, naturalism. Okay, as you know, uh, identified you know naturalists. Okay, uh, that's all for today for this lecture, uh, and uh, hopefully see you soon in our next lecture. Uh, until then, uh, have a good time and. Uh, good luck to all of you. Thank you very much. Salam alaikum.